the instructions. Instructions? Why would I? Instructions are for dummies. Yeah, instructions are for dummies. All right. Oh, what's going on? Whoa! My battery! <laughs> instructions teach us how to do things right. Instructions for a piece of furniture explain how to put it together. With the instructions for a television, we can adjust the picture and sound the way we like them. Printed on a box of oatmeal are the instructions for how to cook it. The instructions for medicines tell us what the medicine is for and how to safely use it. So always read the instructions if you want to do things right and avoid a lot of problems. I found it. Here it is. Here you go, Tom Thomas. Whoa. We got your new chair, but it has to be assembled, and I'm afraid it'll be a little bit difficult for you. No, it won't. Don't worry, Dad. I'll do it. Finish before dinner, and we'll get ice cream tonight. A creamsicle. Two, okay? First, assemble the chair. Hmm. Tom Thomas, can I help you put the chair together? Come on. Hey, first you two need to read the instructions. Ah, Simka, stop being such a bore. What, like I haven't seen a chair? Or like, I haven't seen a chair? Well, Tom Thomas, you done? Dinner's ready. Let's go. Oh, Dad, no. I need another two minutes. Hmm. Simka, help me. How? What does it say I have to do in the instructions? Ah, I thought you could do it without them. Ah, all right, I'll help you. Let's see. Take this part over here and that one over there. No, look, get a screw. No, the longer one. It's over there. The very first stools and benches appear as far back as ancient Egypt. The pharaoh's stool was special because it had a back. It is thought that the pharaoh's stool was actually the first chair. For a long time, a chair was considered a luxury. Rich noblemen would bring their own chairs to parties. And the more important the man, the higher the back of his chair. It wasn't until the 19th century that chairs became part of every house. Today, there are just so many different kinds of chairs. There are wooden chairs, plastic chairs, metal chairs, chairs with legs, chairs with wheels, folding chairs, baby chairs, just all sorts of chairs. Well, how could people sit down at the table <laughs> with no chairs? Ooh, I think we'll make it. Screw it in, quickly. No, look. We need one more screw. But there aren't any. There is. You gotta find it. I already looked everywhere. Tom Thomas, time's up. Nolik, you have to help. How? Just for a minute, that's all. Turn into a screw. If it's only a minute, I'll do it for you. I'm done. You built it. Huh. Great job, son. Mom, see how I won the bet. Can you believe it? He put the chair together. <gasps> You're so brilliant. Go on, have a seat. Oh! Huh? <gasps> uh. Ah, now I see. You missed a screw. But I screwed it in. It must have, uh, must have what? Must have what? Look, here it is. Ah. Ah. Now this screw's not going anywhere. And that ice cream you won? Well, you just lost it. Well then, Mr. Chair Builder, time for dinner? Yeah, in a sec. Where is that Nolik? He ran away. What a traitor. No, he's not. He promised you he'd become a screw for just a minute. And the minute was up. 
Well, where is he then? Over there. He's studying the instructions for the clock. Hey, Tom Thomas, it says that we put the wrong kind of battery into the clock. We should have used that kind. You see, Tom Thomas? If you don't want to be a dummy, instructions are for you. The Shadow Play. Oh, hi there, Tom Thomas. What are you doing here? Uh, I dropped a paper clip. Give me some light. Huh? We're trying to help you out. <laughs> You've got funny shadows, that's what. Hey, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> it's an eagle. <laughs> and Simka is a goose. <laughs> she looks more like a moose. I do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and take that. <laughs> uh. You're like real actors performing in a show. Uh-huh. Actors play in a theater, you know. And we're just under a bed. And so what? <gasps> How about we make our very own theater? A theater with shadows. Glass! Tom Thomas, we need a, a piece of paper, a huge sheet. <laughs> it's really quite easy to make your own shadow theater. You can make the screen out of a white sheet or a big piece of paper. Next, make sure the room is dark and shine a desk lamp at the screen. Now, to make the shadows, just put yourself or a cardboard cutout between the lamp and the screen. Your shadow or the shadow of your puppets will come to life. But make sure that the audience sits on the other side of the screen. The play will be much more magical for them from that side. Tom Thomas, light! Oh, wow! Simka, you look totally like the real Red Riding Hood. Hello, dear granddaughter. Hello, dear grandmother. Grandmother, what very big eyes you've got. The better to see you with, my dear. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> come on, we're rehearsing. <laughs> the wolf's voice is funny. Grandmother, I never noticed what very big teeth you've got. They're so much better to eat you with, my dear. Yum, 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 yum. Let them out, wolf. Or I'll, or I'll get them out whoa, myself. Ha <laughs> ha, you'll stop me with that little stick? Hey, that's not in the fairy tale. But in the fairy tale, it's a normal hunter. And what do you think I am? Look for yourself. You're way too small to be the hunter. Fine, then go to your play without me. Well, I guess I'll have to make the hunter out of paper then. That's all. Take a break. I'm really thirsty. She was so salty, that grandma. No, Lick. Don't be upset. The wolf is huge, and I'm so little. Then let's make you bigger. You see? Now you're bigger. Yeah, you're right. And if we go back here, then I'm even bigger. Now you know. If you go back here near the lamp, your shadow will get bigger on the screen. Class! There are just so many different kinds of theaters in the world. In the dramatic theater, the actors speak the lines of the playwright. At the opera, the actors don't speak their lines. They sing them, accompanied by an orchestra. And here at the ballet, the performers don't speak or sing their parts. Here, the story is told with dance. There are also theaters where the performers are animals. In an animal theater, you can watch performances by cats and dogs, or goats and pigeons, or even bears and seals. There are also theaters where the stories are told by puppets. To tell the truth, the puppets are brought to life with the help of people. Yes, there are so many different kinds of theater. My favorite is the Shadow Theater. I think it's the most beautiful and mysterious theater of them all. Hello, dear grandmother. Grandmother, what very big eyes you've got. The better to see you with, my dear. And grandmother, what great big sharp teeth you've got. All the better to eat you up with, my dear. Um. Ooh, just wait. Aha, wolf, I got you. The hunter looks so strong. You're a hunter? Then where's your gun? Why do I need a gun? You're so tiny I could use a fly swatter. <laughs> but I'd rather do it like this. Like what? With my bare hands. Way to go.
go! Hooray! Splendid! Who was your favorite? Mine was the grandmother. Well, I think Red Riding Hood was the best. For me, the hunter. He was so mighty and so fearless. And for me, the special effects. <laughs> Please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out.